Yes, thanks. It's, it's absolutely amazing to finally be here and uh, in, in HQ at Quantum Systems. A um, bit about myself and where I'm from and, and how did I get here. Uh, I'm originally from Australia. Um, don't hold that against me. But uh, my history really spans, which is I think is quite exciting, since 94 as a cartographic draftsman, where I learned to draft and then I was a surveyor for quite a while as well. Uh, I moved to Ireland during that time. And then I got the ability to become a distributor for surveying equipment for Trimble dis Distributor. Um, so that gave me hands-on experience of being in the field and using equipment and being that, that end user to being a distributor selling those solutions. And then I got the opportunity to move to a drone company, which is super exciting for me, being Sensefly, the market leaders in small fixed wing UAS systems in Switzerland. Lived there for eight years and really worked around drones and how that changed the industry. And now I get this super awesome opportunity to work for Quantum Systems, which is a, it's a different category, right? We're VTOL systems, a lot larger, and we're working in different type of industries as well. So that's really exciting for me. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a tough question that's constantly being asked of everyone in this industry. Where's the biggest growth? Where's the market? Uh, and it is hard. It's very much like um, the mapping in GIS industry when, when devices were coming out there. There's, there's, there's an, a mass amount of verticals and areas where mapping drones and technology drones and VTOL drones can be used. Uh, and it's always a challenge to find that right spot. Um, but VTOL's technology, I think, is, is a game changer out there uh, and being able to bring this type of technology even easier to non-technical people. And I think that's, that's, that's critical. We need to be able to address different markets that don't normally work with this type of technology. So not the surveyors, not the engineers, but other people in conservation. It could be rail line inspection. It could be many things out there. Um, where are the specific markets? I think that's still really being looked at. I mean, obviously we have the government side of the business, but anyone that's doing asset collection who needs answers, the key thing here is how do we provide answers? VTOL, I think, is, is beautifully positioned to be able to work in these tough environments uh, and make it easier for a wider audience. Um, but ultimately, we need to be able to provide people with answers. So be able to get this technology out there, find out what they need, what is their problem that we can solve, and then make sure that we're providing that solution for them. Yeah, is, is cargo drones a one-hit wonder? Uh, I don't think so. If you asked me a couple of years ago, maybe. Um, but I really think it's inevitable where drones as a whole are going to be more and more common in everyday applications, not just for mapping not just for deliveries, but for delivery drones, I think it is only going to grow. Um, we have regulatory constraints, that's catching up, and we need to be able to work with that because we're putting drones over people. So we need to make sure that people feel safe and, and uh, can trust in that type of technology. Well, I'm only just joining the company, so I've got to get my fingers dirty a little bit uh, to understand exactly what, what we can bring to the market here. But what I see is enthusiasm and vision from the front. When you have people like Frank and Florian and, and the other the founders here, so excited, enthusiastic about this industry, everything else flows from that. Um, what can we do? Anything. You know, that's really the answer here, that we can do anything if we think there's an opportunity there. And I see some of the projects that we're working on here already is, is super exciting. There's, there's no fear of trying. Right? We're here to try, and if we fail, well, then we just make it better next time. So I think this is an exciting time not to be sitting on our hands, is to see what we can do out there to make life easier for people and to get answers quicker for people.